Okay, here we are evaluating functions, plugging in x's and finding corresponding y's. So I have some function f here represented by this diagram, and this is a function. Every input has exactly one output. If I were to ask a question like, what is f of 1? That means using the input 1, follow the line and see what the output is when the input is 1. So f of 1 would equal negative 9. 1 here is an input, what we typically think of as an x. Negative 9 is a y, an output. Similarly, f of 5 means using your function named f when the input is 5, find the output that goes with it. And so we just follow the line here. f of 5 is 40. Again, the inputs we typically think of as x's and the outputs are y's. So this is really just a point 540. It's just like making an xy chart. Okay, what if I asked for f of 11? What we look here, find when our input is, oh look, 11's not here in my list. 11's not one of my listed inputs. So this question has no answer. It does not exist. We could say DNE does not exist because 11 is not one of the allowed inputs, which we call domain. 11 is not an element of the domain. Okay, let's look at another example. Here I have some function given by an xy table. Remember, this fancy function notation is just a fancy way of saying y. The outputs are y's. So I have an xy table. That's all this is. And if I asked for, say, g of 5, that just means look in your xy table. When x is 5, what's the y value that goes with it? And, of course, the answer is 9. Right here, 5 is 9. The inputs are x's. Inside here are my x's. The answers, the outputs, are y's. Okay, what if somebody hands me a graph? So I have this function here. This is a function. We know it is. It passes the vertical line test. We've named it h. So somebody might say, hey, I want you to tell me h of 0. That means when x equals 0, remember inside is always an x, find the corresponding y value. So I look here on the graph. When x equals 0, we're talking about this point right here. What's that y value? It's 3. So the point... 0, 3 is one of the points on the graph. When x equals 0, y equals 3. Okay, what about, oh, say, h of 4? So we look over here. When x equals 4, we find the corresponding point on the graph. We're talking about that point right there. And we could see y equals 3. That's the point for it's a 4, comma, 3. It's a 4 here. Okay, what about, oh, I don't know, h of 2. When x equals 2, we go up to our graph. Talking about that point right there, that looks to me like that y value would be 4, so h of 2 would be 4. Or if we wanted, say, h of negative 1. Inside is the x value. When x equals negative 1, what is the y value on the graph? We're talking about that point right there, that y value is 0. Okay, what if somebody hands us a formula? This is the most typical. Somebody will hand us a formula and say evaluate the function. They might ask for, say, f of 2. This means rewrite this formula exactly the way it looks, but now instead of writing x here, here, and here, 
We're writing 2 in all those spots. So my formula is take the input and square it. What is the input? 2 plus 7 times the input in parentheses minus 1. And I would just simplify. 2 squared is 4 plus 7 times 2 is 14 minus 1. So what do we get here? 18 minus 1, 17. So the point 2, 17 is a point on this graph. If we were to graph this function, when x equals 2, y will be 17. Remember, that's an x. That's a y. Okay, what if we wanted f of triangle? Remember, the function is not really, the function has nothing to do with x. The function should really be written f of input is input squared plus 7 times input minus 1. Whatever is here replaces all of the x's in parentheses. f of triangle would be triangle squared plus 7 times triangle in parentheses minus 1. f of stuff would be in parentheses stuff squared plus 7 times whatever stuff is minus 1. f of negative 3 would be negative 3 in parentheses squared plus 7 times negative 3 minus 1. And negative 3 squared, this one we can actually work out. A negative times a negative is a positive, that would be 9. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 minus 1. Let's see, 9 minus 21 would be negative 12 minus 1 more, negative 13, I think. And that's it.